Hey everybody, Lady Steam here. Uh, this video is all about how to assemble the fall lamp. Uh, originally in the November 22 box of making. And we think you're gonna have a really fun time with this project. Be prepared for a little patience. What you'll need is the bag of all the parts plus the light bulb, put it somewhere safe. Um, it's a pretty LED Edison bulb that you'll be able to use. And the hanging cord. And that's all the pieces you'll need. And we'll start by laying out the pieces so you can get a chance to see the parts and how to decorate them for your lamp. Let's begin by taking a look at all of the pieces in this project. And there are a lot of them. First, of course, you've got your power cord and your bulb. And then you have a very, very full bag here that we're going to take apart and pull the contents out of and take a look at. What you should have is one little bag that has four little pieces of wood in it. And one bag that has some mounting hardware for the cable. This will actually go with your lamp cable when you're done so you can hang it from the wall or anywhere else you want to hang it. So I'm going to put all of that aside. And now we'll start looking at the exciting stuff. There are two kinds of leaves in this, and I know they look really different. Um, and the stylistically, they're different. But I kind of liked how they went together, so I went ahead and went with it. What you should have is 24, it's 8, 10, 12, 14... 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 big leaves. And then I'm going to pull those branches out of the way for a minute. And you should have 24 of the smaller leaves. Like so. One, two. If I just stack them up, they should be the same height. And they are. So that's where you're going to start. You also will notice when you're looking at the branches that you have two different kinds of branches. Uh, the first one has the rounds really close to this cutout. And the second one has the hook down here at the bottom, closer to the bottom than the first one does. So they, they will intersperse as we go around to build our lamp. Um, and you should have eight of each of those branch pieces. In addition, in your bag, you will find a big circle with cutouts in it, where we'll put this on top of it, and a small circle with cutout on, in it, where we'll put that one on top of it. And then these four pieces, at the very end, in order to make everything stand up straight, are going to get glued into place like this. So if you're trying to figure out how to decorate the pieces, that's what those four pieces are for. So the first thing you want to do then is go away and sand and decorate and make everything pretty. And then we're going to come back and put this together. And I'll walk you through the assembly process. This is one of those projects that the decorating may take as long as you want. If you really don't like these square blocked off lines on the smaller leaves, you can always sand them um, and hand draw lines on the other side. Or you can do the same things to these if you don't like my... Um, ridges on the leaves. I want you to have as much flexibility as possible. Obviously, you'll be able to see inside your lamp a little bit. Um, so flipping them over only do, does so much for you, but you've got so much flexibility there. The other thing to be aware of as you're building them is I tried to make these pretty tight pressure fit wise. They're not going to break on you, um, but if you're doing a layer of paint on them, be really careful to make sure that you don't add too much thickness right here to this very middle part. Um, and you can take a look at all of the holes to see how those go in. 
um, and how those are going to go together. We're going to glue them in. It'll all be very sturdy, I promise, but be a little careful with adding thickness to the leaves as you decorate the pieces. And when you're done, come back and we'll do this assembly. Now that you've got all your pieces decorated, let's put this together. I'm going to move my leaves aside for the moment and my big outer rings, and we're going to start by putting them together. And there are all kinds of different ways you can do this. Uh, be aware that until you get these pieces in, you're going to be a little bit soft. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lower ring and start by sliding my pieces into it. Make sure that goes all the way in. Like so. And I'm going to do my upper ring. Now, if they're loose on you, um, you can do all kinds of different things to help that. And I'm going to do this kind of side to side um, and build the shape of it with this one set. And then I'm going to fill in the holes with the other set. Get that one started and get that one started. And we're going to do every other one with this one set. all the way around. And you'll notice as you pull it together, it starts to adjust things a little bit. Uh, be a little gentle on them. It is definitely possible to break the branches while you're assembling it. Once it's built, it's going to be really sturdy. If you break a branch, if you need another piece, as always, just reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. Come on. And if you want to glue them in, um, you can do that as well. Um, if they're a little loose, that's probably helpful to, will probably be helpful. Um, but we're going to lock them into place with our top rings that go around them as soon as we've got them all in. Um, so we don't have to worry about losing them as we go. One, two, three. Ah, no wonder this one was a problem. Got it in in the wrong place. That's the reason for not gluing them. One, two, three, four. I'm sure all of you are way more coordinated than I am some days. <laughs> to give this piece a little bit of a lecture here. There we go. And now I'm four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I put this together like three different ways when I was designing it and testing them. Um, and going one piece at a time works. The problem with doing that is the pieces don't have any support with each other when you do that. And you definitely don't want to break any of them, so... I like doing it this way a little better. Um, just to make sure everything gets in. So now, see, it'll stand up on its own. And we can add the next set of pieces going around. This is going to be one of those things where hopefully you turn off the video and fast forward through it so you don't have to listen to all my rambling about how to do things. Although if you listen to the rambling, I'll 
tell, do my best to tell stories and entertain you as I usually do. Uh, we're also doing a little bit of levering as we do this and getting the pieces a little bit pressure fit um, in. And so doing it around the outside first means that um, when you put the second set in, we've now protected pieces from moving some. So it'll kind of hold the world together a little better. There are lots of these lamps um, in similar things on the internet. I did certainly did not invent making a lamp this way. Um, we've done some things in it that I think are unique and pretty cool, but don't, you don't need to think that I am quite so ingenious as having invented the hanging pendant lamp, pendant tree lamp. I got some inspiration online and went from there. And there are enough of them that that's good. Okay, so I've got my first set of pieces on. Now I'm gonna take the other set of pieces um, and go around and add those very carefully. And you can see by doing this, I've created this layer of pressure. Um, and so for this set, I think it's easier to do the top one first and get it in. And then the bottom one tends to go in nicely, usually. Really? You're gonna be that stubborn. And yes, I am a firm believer that talking to your projects is a great aid in putting things together. Let me get that top piece put in. And then that second piece just hops in. And depending on where you are in the circle, how you've assembled it, some of it will be easier, some of it will be harder to hold. This is another one of those things where having a second pair of hands sometimes helps. Who said you could go in first? Well, notice that I'm doing that top getting that top set set, sliding that into the hole, and then the bottom side just goes where it's supposed to, all by itself. And because I've got this leverage going, it's like I said, it's way easier on this second set around to do the top one first or the smaller one first. That's gonna be the top of our lamp. If you run into one that's just too hard, you can always get your sandpaper out and do a little bit of sanding. to get things to align. One last piece, come on. Cooperate, you last piece, you. Guess we're gonna start on the bottom this time. 
And now I'm all the way in, or I was all the way in, all the way around. Um, and so what I'm gonna do first, as I said, is I'm gonna put our rings on that I've designed for holding this in place. Um, and this will mean they can't come out on you and you don't aren't gonna have anything falling out and being a problem. So I'm gonna put a line of glue there. And glue all the way around here. Now, um, the other reason for doing this is I think it kind of finishes the look of the piece a little bit to have these extra rings on top. Then we'll put those in. And again, if they're sliding too far in or out on you, once you've done that, then you can glue them in and it won't be a problem. I'm gonna do that same thing on this other ring down on the bottom section here. And I'm gonna glue this down again to keep those pieces in place and make sure everything stays nice and tight um, and precise. Once we put our lamp bulb in, our, our lamp cord in, then we'll fasten the top together and we'll put this set of top pieces in to hold it together. Uh, we're gonna suspend it from that cord. So we wanna wait and do that last. And now we're ready to put our leaves on. Now what I did is you'll notice you've got opposite height pieces here. You've got a round that's at the very top and then the next one down and then the next one down is on the opposite piece. So I've got six rounds we can do. And what I decided after playing with it some is what I liked best was put, to put the smaller leaves on the top three rounds. Um, and the bigger leaves on the bottom three rounds. Um, and you can do this assembly any way you want to. Um, and I have been doing it from the top. I think that's a little easier, uh, but what you may wanna do is do a little bit of sitting pieces in place and decide where you want them to be. Decide if you like my layout or if you wanna do something totally different of your own. Um, but I'm just going to start with my layout, and I'm going to go ahead and start at the top. And the easiest way to do this, I'm going to recommend gluing leaves in. You've got almost enough pressure to do it without gluing the leaves in. But I'm going to recommend gluing the leaves in. Um, and I think the easiest way to make sure that the leaves actually stick here um, is you'll notice that we're going to have the wood touching right here and overlapping right here on the bottom some. And then it's also gonna overlap in the hole. So what I've been doing is running a bunch of glue like so and sliding it into the location I want it in. It should, by doing that, keep the top clean and not looking gluey, but it should glue okay on the bottom. If it's coming out too much and you wanna wipe it, that's fine as well. Now, part of the reason I used this model is I wanted to have as little bit of blank space just showing through as possible um, because uh, these bulbs are a little bright, which is actually really nice in a working lamp. Um, and you can swap them, obviously, for a dimmer bulb. Um, or you can put plug this into a dimmer. But because they're a little bright, um, I didn't want... I wanted the light to come through all filtered by the pattern. Um, and so that's what I did there. So I'm just going to keep doing this. And I'm going to go ahead and do it all the way around this first batch of eight.
And this takes a while, so get yourself a nice drink, a soda or tea or whatever it is you prefer, your preferred beverage for crafting. And enjoy the time you get to spend building your beauteous tree. There you go. Knew that leaf was gonna be stubborn. And then I'm gonna take the second set all the way around and do the exact same thing on the second layer. And this is now going between that first set of leaves. Um, and you'll notice what I'm doing. If you watch my right hand when I put one of these on, I'm doing a little bit of stabilizing of the bar when I'm pushing against it with my low, my fingers down here just to make sure that they, I don't break anything in the process. But you definitely want to get that glue on it. Some of these are looser than others and they just don't want them to slide out on you. glue. Two more on this layer. And I'm ready for my third layer around. So now we're going to go back to the next set. Um, and this is kind of making this top canopy. And then we're going to curve around it with the bigger leaves. And if you're using my pattern again, be careful because it's tempting to go down too low and put them in the wrong slot. So now you really want to pay attention to where you're putting them. So you make sure you don't miss anything in the process. Almost out of little leaves.
and there's my last little one and now I'm ready to go around and start on the big ones and so I'm going to start at the next round down which is this one that only has one leaf on it so far take that tuck this underneath and slide it in Make sure you get that up far enough. And this time around, you'll notice that I'm actually now starting to sit on the leaves as I put them in. So you're gonna be a little gentle on that part of the process too. But like I said, have fun with this leaf placement too. With 24 leaves of each kind of leaf, you should be able to do most anything you want. Take your time, don't try to keep up with me. I've built two or three of these at this point and got a little bit of practice putting these leaves on. Getting close. You can do it. There we go. So that's my first round. And then I'm going to start on the second round, which is the branch that has those two on it for me. I'm going to the next one lower. And this one may be a little harder to slide all the way in. If it is, it's okay. As long as you get it in enough that the glue will stay, you should be fine. Just gently rock it into place. And as I said before, if you're going into one that really doesn't get, want to go and you can't get the glue to set, you can always use some sandpaper on it. You can see I've got a little bit of thick wood sticking out there that's being my problem on this one. There we go, that's setting nicely. not going to go anywhere on me. It annoyed me a little bit that I had to hold it up at an angle to get it to the right place and then set it back down, um, which is another reason for having a little bit of help. Um, somebody to either put glue on for you or to help hold it while you're doing it. Um, but I made this set particularly tight on purpose because I don't want them falling out on you since they're at the bottom and they're hanging straight down. You wanna make sure to squeeze those in really well.
And if you get extra glue on the front, you can always wipe it off. I don't know why I put glue, cut glue on the front that time. And if you listen to it, you can actually hear it go click when it gets past that first little bit of pressure point. Click. one on this side and then eight more. And this leaf is really, really hiding. Oh. It'll fit into place nicely, but it's gonna take a little bit of energy to get you through to the right spot. But if you look at it from the underside, you'll easily be able to see what you're missing. slot and turn that over. Continue our little adventure around here. I've got four left. And two. And this is my last leaf going in right here. So once I've done that, then we're ready to put in the lamp cord itself. Um, and there is enough space to feed the whole base through. Um, and amazingly, it sits very evenly um, and tightly on the attachment point. So, to very carefully feed that up through the bottom. All the way through. Thank you. 
and then it just should stay nice and stable in place if you put it if you put it in. Um, if you're worried about it, you can go underneath and inside and run a line of hot glue around it, um, and that would definitely keep it into place. But hot glue would be my recommendation. I'm just pulling up a little on the cord, and you'll notice how well that's staying. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, and that's all you have to have, but I felt like I wanted a way to make sure that the cable stayed in the middle, and that I dropped pet things a few more times. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these four little pieces of wood to do that. This one's not staying as tight as the last one. There. So, I'm going to make a little circle of glue around the inside here. Um, and the reason I have to do this in two halves, obviously, is I've got this silly cable sticking up through the middle. Um, and this is a little tricky, but it is going to give you a nice bit of support in the middle. Um, and it'll hold your cable in place and kind of hold everything together a little better. Um, so I really like having it. And it means that the lamp cord has to be in the middle. And once you've got those two glued down, then we can glue the other half down and make this piece a solid piece with the top layer. Like so. And at this point, it looks like a really solid lamp. And the last thing to do, open your bag with your light bulb. Screw your light bulb in. It's a LED Edison lamp. Um, if you want to keep it from twisting, you might have to put two hands in to do that. And there you have it, a fall lamp ready to use.